happy Mommy Pro weekend. Today is Friday. It is 1-11. Do you guys do that? Where you look at the time and it's always 1-1-1-1-1 everything? Holy mackerel. Did we go overboard on this or what? Listen, it wouldn't be a um, Coffee Break with Danny vlog or video or tutorial or Instagram post unless there was an overkill on the Rudolph situation. So the lighting in here is so weird. I'm looking kind of orange. Or is it my tan? <laughs> I don't even know. You guys are gonna ask me about my nail polish, I know. On camera, it looks blue. In real life, sometimes it looks purple, sometimes it looks blue. It's actually from this new brand. I just randomly got these at my PO box the other day called Olive and June. Um, I think this is a brand, I wanna say, this is the brand of nail polish that Allie, um, the founder of Dry Bar, is always using. I want to say. And if it is, then I want to be cool like Allie. So, see, I'm dark again. Like, that's crazy. When I sit like this, I'm super tan. And then when I move, then I'm just like a little tan. Down here, it still looks tan and my face looks super white. I guess the ring light does make a big difference, huh? Okay, so I sat and I filmed this Get Ready With Me just now for you guys. Um, I did it with the Uh Huh Honey palette. So many of you guys requested um, this video. The entire video sounds like that noise that you hear. So my neighbor is changing out their entire fence. And so it's gonna be a loud, obnoxious day, like all day. It's probably gonna be tomorrow too because this is an eight foot fence with steel poles. <laughs> anyway, um, every time I do a look and I don't film it, that's when you guys ask how I did it and that you wanna see it. So I'm delivering. It is the uh-huh, uh-huh, honey. Why can't I just say it normal? Uh-huh, honey. It doesn't sound fun. It has to be like, uh-huh, honey, right? Okay, so last I heard this palette was sold out on the ColourPop website, but it's probably gonna come back along with 17 other new palettes that they launch every week. So um, I wouldn't fret. I would definitely order it though because it's definitely worth the price. ColourPop eyeshadows are some of my favorites and they're super affordable and cruelty free. So in this Get Ready With Me, we talk about um, a baby mistake. I made, um, like talking about some brands that I thought were cruelty free, which really weren't, um, in a haul video. Um, we also discuss um, potential plans for our wedding next year. Um, what else did we talk about? Definitely my tan. I know for sure we talked about my tan and the fact that I'm engaged because it wouldn't be one of my videos unless we did. <laughs> So here's the scoop. It's Friday, it's one. I need to go to Costco and pick up some pictures I had developed. If you guys have a Costco membership, if you don't, get one just for their picture or photo department. It's the cheapest price always. You don't have to look up promo codes like with Walgreens. Uh, Walgreens developing is awful and unreliable. Sometimes it's good, other times it's orange, other times it has streaks through the middle. Like, it's just completely unreliable. Costco, it's on point every single time and it's the cheapest price, so why wouldn't you? Plus you get to go to Costco. <laughs> so I have to go to Costco and pick up those pictures. At some point in the evening, Parker needs to go back to his old home to get it ready for the amazing Crap Mountain estate sale tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday, we need to be at his house before 6 a.m. to open the doors to his property and to get rid of as much of his stuff as possible. Um, I actually talked about that in this Get Ready With Me because I do get that question a lot, like why why, why didn't you move into his house? Uh, for a lot of reasons, but the biggest reason I think is because his actual home is a lot smaller than mine. His backyard is a lot cooler, but the actual part where you live in, <laughs> is a lot smaller. Um, this one here is a lot bigger and there's rooms for everyone, there's space for everything, um, but the backyard's pretty lame. So we'll have to do something about that. But anyway, it just made more sense um, to do that. So we need to unload all of his furniture and uh, dishes and all that stuff <sighs> and get it all out before we lease his property. So that will be tomorrow. And we're not gonna do it on Sunday. We thought about it, but mm -mm. if it doesn't happen on Saturday, then guess what? There's gonna be a donation center that's gonna be real happy. <laughs> so um, 
that would be tomorrow and i'm assuming that because we're getting up so early i'm thinking 4:30 or 5 that i'm not going to be in a really good hey let me film a few videos today kind of mood so that is shot for tomorrow and then sunday i'll probably have to get some more work done because it's already 1 30 and i've only done one video so that's the status of my life do you guys want to say hi to sophia She's been really sleepy today. So my dogs all had their dental appointments this week, like during the week. So this, the rest of the week, they've been very like, I don't know if the word is butt hurt, <laughs> but they've been a little sensitive and needy, but not this one. Want to say hi to your friends? Huh? You want to say hi to your friends? What's your meander? You want to show them your bed? These are like the best dog beds ever. So they're called cups. These are cups. And so um, your dog like just goes boop, 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 climbs in here and then they curl in them. And the funny thing is that they come in different sizes, right? Well, Wesley, the fat one, likes this size. And so he gets in here and he looks like an actual cinnamon roll. <laughs> Sophia always likes the bigger beds. So does the topo. So the topo lays on those over there. But um, these little beds, they're super awesome. My dogs really, really like them. And you can get them at most stores like TJ Maxx and Tuesday Morning, or you could order them online. I think online, don't get them from like PetSmart or Petco. They're a lot more expensive. But um, yeah, see, look at her. She could stay there for hours. What about you? Do you want to show us how you get in your bed? Hey, come here. What about you? Do you want to show us how you get in your bed? Show everyone how you get in your bed. It's kind of a miracle. It's like a clown car. It, it really is because look how big you are. Hey, do you want to do a roll count? You want to do a, all right, hold on. Let's get in position to do the proper roll count. So this is Wesley's roll count. Look at how nice that is. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's a nice massage. Do you like that? Do you like that massage? Oh my goodness. Is un gordo muy gordo tu? Es un gordo perfecto? It is a gordo perfecto? Is it a gordo? Perfecto, perfecto, perfecto. Is it gold? Goldie. Hey, tell everyone what you're going to do this weekend. Do you want to go to the estate sale? I think people might steal you if I take you. What do you think? What do you think? I mean, I would try and steal you. Look at this face. I would definitely try and steal you. And I would hold all these cinnamon rolls for the rest of my life. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Anyway, you guys, that's the current state of my life. I'll check in later when I decide what I'm going to do or when I go to Costco because y'all know how I feel about Costco. Costco, me, Target, Briogeo. It's like a... It's where the love is. It's the, it's the deep love connection that we feel. It's a long-term committed serious relationship all right enough of that i love you hey, hey you guys almost three o'clock so here's the scoop i was able to finish two videos clearly i changed my lip color because that orange although it was pretty i may have eaten it all with a bag of doritos so i wasn't sure if the orange that was left over was was dorito cheese or my lipstick so the formula of that lipstick though is just crap no don't get it I do not recommend it it's not gonna be in a favorites so here's a scoop I was able to finish two videos I still have to do one to two more but those fencing people y'all I'm gonna be in the five o'clock news it's gonna be like a quadruple homicide I swear to you they are so loud so uh, Parker's on his way home we need to go to Humpa Depot Humpa Depot is Home Depot but my four-year-old that's how he says it it's like the cutest thing ever watch I'll play it for you guys say Home Depot Humpa Depot. <laughs> like, am I right? Humpa Depot. So we need to go to Home Depot. I need to go to Costco to pick up some prints. Um, and then, uh, hello, bonus babies are starving, as am I. So <laughs> I told Parker, I was like, hey, what do you think um, about me taking um, one of the girls to Costco and then to go eat with me? He's like, well, if you wait 24 minutes, can I tag along? <laughs> So he was already on his way home and this always happens like it perfectly lines up where we just all get together and hang out So right now, I think what we're gonna do is go to Humpa Depot go to Costco and then figure out where to eat I know there was a request for sushi already made. So maybe that's an option Chili's is another option just because it's next door uh, But I wanted to show you guys an outfit of the day now. Don't be alarmed I mean you might you might faint because this is like one of the most amazing outfits I've, I've ever ever come up with it's 
not, you guys. It's really not. But two of the pieces are from uh, Just Fab, and I'm kind of in love. You want to see? Y'all, I'm pretty sure that sound means that uh, Parker's here. So just a quickie outfit of the day. Look how pretty this tank top is. It's linen. Um, it's from Just Fab. I paired it with my um, gaucho type um, jeans from Express. And these were the dupe sandals I was talking to you guys about last week. Aren't they pretty? They look like if they were suede. They're not. They're man-made materials. But the blush color is very, very super neutral. It looks nude on camera. It's a little more pink um, on like in person than it is um, on camera, but it still doesn't stop to be neutral. So this is my amazing baggy outfit of the day. It's actually really comfortable. <laughs> That's what we're going for. All right, you guys. So I feel like I need to do something, although morally and ethically against everything I believe in, but it's kind of hilarious. So we went to Costco and Humpa Depot. And of course we ripped into the pictures while we're sitting in the car. Apparently I have two children I'm not aware of. And they're really <laughs> cute. <laughs> He's so proud of himself. Never gets old. <laughs> Never gets old, neither does butt parking. Y'all, you're witnessing Parker butt parking full effect right now. Anyway, so yeah, I'm coming home with an 11 by 14 of two adorable little kids. Should we put it up in the house? I feel like at least just to give it the vibe that there's some kids in the family. They're since y'all never. They're honorary members. They're honorary pandas. Anyway, we just pulled up the chilies. We're gonna eat chilies. I feel like I need to get dessert first though. Are you guys on board with this? Uh, mm -hmm. I feel like as soon as I eat the dessert, I'll just want everything that's sweet. <sighs> Why are Parker's kids so good? I always try to like make them do bad things and they're like, oh, my dad wouldn't like that. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> guys we interrupt our daily programming to bring you something that's a little x-rated so if there's kids in the room husbands in the room boyfriends in the room have them leave a premises because I'm about to turn on some wife porn you ready I feel like we need some like really sexy music right now I feel exploited. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> don't show my face <laughs> that bathtub, babe. It smells like... Yeah. Oh, snap. Is that a Home Depot bag? It smells like limited bleach. Yeah. It smells like bleach, handsome man, and a Humpa Depot bag. You see a small gerbil <laughs> I pulled out of there? Oh, there's a gerbil. Yeah. So, Parker's fixing the bathtub because bonus babies have, like, luscious Pocahontas hair. <laughs> Two weeks, you guys. Two weeks. And a baby dinosaur. <laughs> You guys, it's almost seven o'clock. I have good news. The good news is I was able to put all the pictures we developed into our frames and they look amazing. The other good news is we're almost, is we're almost, does that make sense? Is we're almost, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Sometimes my English comes out and I'm like, what's that? Was that proper English? Was that even English? It's subtitles. <laughs> I need my own subtitles. So we're almost at Parker's property, is what we're gonna start calling it. See, we could put a sign right here on this corner. It's our rental property. Our rental property. You guys, we're property owners. Well, we were property owners already. <laughs> now we're like multi property. Is there a word for that? We're slumlords. <laughs> Even though we live in one of them. So, um, 
we're almost at Parker's house. So that means that we're going to give you a one-on-one -on -one personalized tour of the 17 Crock-Pots. You ready? You're excited, I know you're excited. Listen, I got a lot of comments of, well, do we get to see these Crock-Pots? Okay, if I was gonna show you the Crock-Pots tomorrow, tomorrow's the actual estate sale. Like tomorrow, it's the official estate sale of Crap Mountain. So, it might, it might not be a good idea because I might be showing you and then some lady comes in and she's like, what a coincidence, I needed 17 crock pots and then I can't show you. So if I show you right now, you're gonna get a personalized tour before anyone gets here. LSU crock pot. There's even a crock pot stand. <laughs> Who is this man? Who am I engaged to? What's going on here? We're not butt parking right now. We're butt racing, apparently. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, y'all, this is definitely the face of someone that's sweaty. I didn't anticipate the amount of work that we still had to do here. Um, the good news is we're ready to go. It's 9 o'clock, but I promised to show you guys the crockpot stash. I do, have, I do have terrible news. So Parker is such a doll, and he actually opened the doors to his home to like friends and family and he was like okay before this starts y'all take stuff so they did and part of that were some crock pots so there's gonna be a few missing but that still doesn't discount the attention that we need to give to the rest of them are you ready for this i feel like we need to put some like super cool music for this for this part of the of the, of the video there's also something else i want to show you guys that i'm taking home that i'm mildly offended that parker didn't tell me he he owned yeah, I don't think you're ready for this. <laughs> Look at this. Look how little it is. I feel like this needs to be in all my cooking videos. Like I should have a little photo shoot with Popo in this little pot. You guys, this is a Calphalon pot. I didn't know they made them this little. If I did, I'd have the whole collection. But okay, back to the point. So here I bring to you the presentation, the plethora, the eccentric millionaire's collection of crock pots. I feel like you need to at least do some like super se sexy hand movements, you know? Like, <laughs> not jazz hands. <laughs> this is the first size reference. For size reference. So we have a rival here. This seems like an antique, right? Like this is like an old model. <laughs> I feel like I'm on the price is right. Yeah. <laughs> You're the hot blonde model. Um, we have another rival here, but this is the more modern look. This is uh, the stainless steel. If we have some sports fanatics, uh, we do have an LSU, which means nothing to me. I think they're a hockey team or something. Um, With low and high settings. <laughs> oh, there's two. It's like low when the season's going well, and then high when the season's going great, <laughs> and then off when the I believe this sunbeam is is a, is an antique. I would yeah. I would say this was like from Kmart days. It's a little long on the tooth. Did you guys ever go to Kmart? Was Kmart a thing? Kmart was totally a Wait, thing when I was growing KG, up. KGY? Is that what it was? Montgomery Ward, maybe? So, so. Sears? Okay, so this is definitely an antique. But then, this is where things get real good. I don't know if you guys can observe. We, we need a, this needs its own presentation. This is a triple crock pot like what do you call this a triple crock it's a buffet <laughs> it's a buffet yeah it's got little spoon holders oh <laughs> so they don't they don't get yeah. drippy so you can put that <laughs> back here oh and well you can like take this and this goes okay so the yourself. the fact that you remember how this is used um <laughs> you got some use out of it hey you know I'm, this this thing's three awesome. three kinds of dip <laughs> three kinds you know you got the uh, cocktail weenies got queso <laughs> You got the meatballs. <laughs> and again, multiple settings. Y'all, yeah. this is gonna fly tomorrow. I just, I can just feel it. But yeah, I'm convinced that there were more crock pots and I'm pretty sure our family took it, right? Cause you had some good ones here too. Yeah, we might've had some walk off. Oh, this one even still has instructions with it. <laughs> is this a crock pot? It's actually a cooker. Oh, I'm like, is this for fun? Because this looks like a fondue pot. Well, you can, you can rock and roll the degrees you want. And <laughs> Man. I feel like you're having remorse right now, and I don't want you to remember your good times with these things. <laughs> so yeah, there were a couple of these, but like the big ones, like for a family, because this is like two portions. Anyway, do you guys want to see something else? I'm also taking it home. Why do you know what I'm talking about? 
I know like, you. you read my mind. Look. <laughs> Look how little it is. Look at my hand. You guys, Bobo and a photo shoot with this little Calphalon pot and strainer, he could do like a pasta tutorial. Okay, clearly I'm <laughs> tired. I see little nugget watching his berries with that. <laughs> he eats berries all day, so they've been helping a lot in the kitchen. So honestly, this might be something fun for them. Like it might feel like it's their own little personal kit, but it's real stuff. Like this is real kitchen stuff. I didn't know it came in many. Okay, y'all, I have to get up like at four tomorrow and clearly I'm delirious. And Parker's brother has pizza. So I feel like calling my name. You guys! Happy Saturday. It's a little bit after one o'clock. We've been up since 4.30. And when we got here this morning, there were cars parked outside. It was crazy. So we got here, we had maybe three or four people, like first thing in the morning, it was still dark outside. They came in and they were like, this, 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 this. Set it aside, came back with big trucks and vans and stuff and took it. And then we had a huge lull um, around eight, like eight to 9.30. And then from 10 to like 11, it was bananas. And people were so upset that so much of the stuff was sold. Um, Cause it was big furniture. So we had to put sold stickers on it um, so they could come back later. I have to show you guys the current state of the house. I didn't think this was gonna happen. I honestly thought we were gonna have to go to the dump a few times. We were gonna have to call a church to come and pick up some of like the bigger items for donation. Um, I thought we were gonna have to junk a few, like a few things. I really am so overwhelmed with how amazing this was. Um, do you guys ever get a feeling like something is coming together for you? Like something, whatever you believe in, whatever your higher power is, um, is really looking out for you. And I feel like ever since I met this guy, <laughs> it's like everything is falling into place. Everything works out, everything is, is good. It's not easy. That would be a horrible thing to say. It, it hasn't been easy but it's always, it's always worked and it's always managed to, to pull together. So I'm gonna give you guys a empty house tour <laughs> of Parker's home. Wow, this is nuts, I can't believe it. All the doors, drawers, cabinets, closets, everything is empty. There's like two more things and the only reason they're still here is because um, Parker's brothers mother-in-law is gonna come and take them. So she's like, just hold them, I'll be there in a sec, you know? Look at my manicure. Why Why just this snail? Kind of weird, right? It's so weird, anyway. All right, you ready? I'm a little loopy because I haven't had a proper meal today. I had a protein box in the morning from Starbucks. I had coffee at home before I left at four o'clock in the morning. Um, I had a donut and then I had another two donuts. <laughs> Plus I got up before you guys, I'm tired, okay? So my brain is like half on, half off. And this house echoes way too much, it's weird. Okay, you ready? All right, this is officially the walkthrough. This is like the office or the formal dining room. Actually, this is the office. This is the formal dining room. Then we have an empty kitchen. Bonkers, right? Got some flies. This used to be the dining set. There's no furniture here. How crazy is that? Look, nothing, not even wall mounts. This is Parker's old room. How crazy is that? It's empty. That's sold, that just needs to get picked up. Such a weird feeling. All right, you guys, and then we go upstairs. So when you come up, this was one of bonus baby's room. Look, empty, oh my goodness. This is another one. That's another sold piece. They just need to come and get it. Empty, bathroom, empty, guest room, empty. This is the game room, playroom, upstairs living room, empty. Again, sold, they just need to pick that up. Oh, this is another bathroom, it's also empty. But you guys, let me show you something. All right, how cute are my overalls? Let's talk about that. 
How cute are these overalls? They're from Just Fab. Aren't they adorable? I like these more than the other ones I got from Just Fab because of where the distressing is. How classy was that? You guys loved it, didn't you? The distressing is a lot thicker. You know, it's a lot more put together than the other ones because the other ones I just ripped completely apart. And I love that they have these buttons in the front instead of a pocket. Because when I get overalls with the pocket, I'll put stuff in there and then it all falls out. It's just habit, I can't get out of it. So I love these little, this little detail and they're rose gold. How cute is that? I got mine in a size 29. I'm usually a 28 because I like them to fit like bunchy. But I think they're gonna shrink when I wash them. I haven't washed them yet, Cochinas. Um, so they're probably gonna shrink. I would have gone up even another size, like and gotten a 30. But I wanted to show you before we leave. See, you can see the rose gold better there. Isn't that cool? Anyway, that's the current state of my life. I'm pretty sure I smell like maybe 47 wet dogs right now. Um, we are tired, we are hungry, but it's been such a full day. So many of these pieces went to people that really could use them. So it was just, it was magic, I'm so happy. Are you happy? <laughs> so out. Are you crazy, isn't that crazy? Amazing. Oh my Amazing. gosh. Everything is gone, you guys. I get to keep Parker forever. That wasn't creepy.